of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge started out of 1 West, 125th Street out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization. And we teach the truth according to the Bible. And that's that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's holy people, the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel. And in this same Bible, it says our oppressor is the devil, the colonizer, the slave master. The word devil means deceiver. And this race of people has deceived the entire earth into believing lies about our holy records. Black people don't even know the Bible is talking about us. From the beginning of the book in Genesis all the way to the end in Revelation. We never knew this book was talking about us. You know why? Because these people are masters at deception. That's how they got this nation. They didn't get this nation through hard work and through ingenuity. You understand? They got this nation through murder, through rape, through deception. They deceived our Native American brothers into believing they were peaceful. And then they slaughtered 77 million of our Native American brothers and sisters to get this land. And that's why today, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we serve a God that doesn't even look like us. Does that make sense to you? Every race of people on the face of the earth has a God that looks like them. Well, where's the nigga God? How can we serve and worship a white Jesus? I'll tell you why. Because the oppressor is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. And I'm going to show you that that Christian church, the Christian leaders, the black leaders in our community have failed our people. Because these are things that we should have known growing up. These are things that we should have known as soon as we were able to comprehend words. That we are God's people. And that we have an enemy while we live in their society. While we want to live in America and go party and think everything is a big party. Our people are dying. You don't think you can be the next victim to these devils wrath and hatred? Yeah, no sweat. The Lord is waking up his people, man. And don't let tragedy have to hit your front door for you now to hear what the prophets have always been saying. Right. Don't let tragedy now have to strike your household for now you want to hear and seek God. You better seek the Lord while you still are unaffected by the tragedies that are happening every single day to our people. You don't think what happened in Buffalo could happen in D.C.? You don't think what happened in Texas could happen in D.C.? Could happen in Maryland and Virginia? It will. It absolutely will, and I'll tell you why. Because the Lord said it would happen in this Bible. You understand? And the Christian church does not teach the Bible. And because the Christian church doesn't teach the Bible, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we lack understanding about morality. We lack a understanding of what's right and what's wrong. Give me Hosea 4 and 6 if you could, brother. The black community is in shambles, and everybody can agree with that. Everybody can agree. That's why black people are always trying to get out the ghetto. They had an entire TV show called The Jeffersons where they praised this black man for getting the hell out the ghetto and moving on up to the east side. You know why? Because black people, we know our neighborhoods and our conditions are conditions that no one else would want to live in, even our own people. The reason why it's like that is because our Christian pastors have failed to teach us. You Christian pastors and you Christian leaders, you sit in the seats where you have the power and the authority to protect and teach God's people. But instead, you abuse your power. You abuse your authority. And you use it for your own gain and greed. And God is going to do to you what you've done to his people. God is going to make you Christian pastors homeless and broke and hungry. Because you have done that by lying to God's people. You're supposed to be teaching the Bible. They don't teach the Bible in the church because if they did, black people would know Christ is black. Right. Black people would know this Bible is a black man's book. Black people would know we are God's children and we have to follow his laws. But we don't know that and the Bible says because we don't know this, this is why we are destroyed. If you could, brother. The book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed 
No, the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. If you didn't know, God has a set of people that belong to him. I know the Christian church, all Christians will tell you that we are all God's people. We all bleed red, right? It's only one race, the human race. Well, how come it's always blacks, Hispanics, and Native American blood being spilled in America since we all bleed red? I know what we bleed because we see our blood being spilled all throughout America. Every day, you understand? Nothing has changed since we've been here in 1619. These oppressors hate us the exact same way they've always hated us. They spill our blood the same way they've always spilled our blood. Mass murder is American culture. And let me tell you something, it don't matter if you ban all the goddamn guns, it don't matter if you give every citizen a gun, you will not change the mass murder culture of America. It is absolutely American culture for white men to murder everybody. Thank you, sister, get a flyer. That's American culture, how do you know? That's how this nation was started. It was started by deranged, sick white men murdering every goddamn body and taking what belongs to somebody else. Am I lying? That's why they want to ban so-called critical race theory because what I'm saying is actual history. It's in the goddamn history books, you understand? But once again, these oppressors being the devil, being deceivers, they want to erase history. You know who else wanted to erase history? Adolf Hitler. You understand? Go read about how college students, German college students, Nazis, were burning books because they too wanted to recreate history. And listen, America, you are no different than the goddamn Nazis, the way you treat blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You know who Hitler got his idea for concentration camps from? From the Americans and how they put the Native Americans on reservation. That's who, he, that's who Hitler learned the concentration camp idea from. The reservations and how you oppressors put our Native American brothers on reservations. You oppressors are the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of, man. And it's in the Bible. Read what you got again. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of God. God says his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you are not black, Hispanic, or Native American, you are not God's people. There is no such thing as believers and non-believers. That is a Christian lie. Either you are a child of Israel or you are not a child of Israel. Salvation was never promised to anybody outside of the 12 tribes. And it's all throughout the Bible. And I'm going to show you, you don't know this because the Christian church is hell bent on making sure black men and black women don't know who they are according to this book. This book has, is, has nothing to do with no other race of people. But every race of people wants to join themselves to our records, to our history. Any biblical scholar who's worth his salt can tell you this Bible is talking to the children of Israel throughout the entirety of the whole book. But why now that we believe that everybody is being mentioned in this book? Everybody can be saved. That's never been the case. And if you believe everybody can be saved, come tell me the scripture. Come show me. Come school us. Because apparently we don't know, huh? We just some crazy niggas on the corner that like to yell at white people. That's what you think. When brothers back here have dedicated their lives to no longer getting high, to no longer committing acts of violence against their own people, to no longer selling drugs, to no longer being American, to study these records that belong to us. What you're looking at right now before your face is the Lord raising back the men of old, ancient men, the prophets back on the earth. And the same way you feel about us now is how they felt about Christ. That's why they killed Christ. You look at us and you hate us for telling the goddamn truth. You hate us for being masculine and standing up for what's right. And they hated Christ the same way and that's why they murdered our king. The exact same reason. But we don't know none of this because the Christian church is full of lies. We're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Not for the lack of money. Not for the lack of college degrees. We're destroyed for the lack of knowledge, black man. We lack knowing who we are and what is our constitution. The Bible is the, is the black man's constitution. Right. America has their constitution. You understand? And according to their constitution, black man, you are three-fifths of a human. 
You understand? Somebody tell me when they ever ratified that clause. When was it ever ratified? Anybody know? If it's been ratified, if it's been changed, somebody let me know. Tell me the date when they changed black men with three-fifths human. You can't. Because they never changed it. Because the way they view us, it's always been less than human. That's why we're not allowed to be angry at these oppressors for the crimes they commit. Right. You always want us to forgive and to love, but you never tell the Jewish man to forgive the German man, to, 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 to love the Germans. You didn't say forgive and love after 9-11. You went and bombed the goddamn Middle East. Right. But when black people say now, we want to feel grief and mourn and remember what happened to our people by the hands of your people, now all of a sudden we're a hate group of racists. You're a goddamn hypocrite, and that's why Christ is coming back to save his people. Right. Because you don't respect us as humans. We're not allowed to feel any human emotion. We're not allowed to be angry, according to you, huh? Some of y'all, if you had the power, you would get us out the corner. Because you don't believe we have the right to freedom of speech. You're a hypocrite, man. One more time, brother. Book of Hosea, chapter 4. Verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Bible says God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give me Romans 15 and 4. This is the problem with the Christian church. It's a lot of philosophizing going on in the church. It's a lot of emotions and a lot of motivational speaking going on, but there is no scholarship going on in the Christian church. There is no going into this Bible and breaking down these words, these scriptures, these precepts. The Christian church is full of emotion. It's full of ideas and all the things that don't fix communities. You know what fixes communities? Having a moral standard. Standing up for something, man. And this Bible teaches our people to have a moral standard. You understand? If we left America today in a mass exodus as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and we created our own nation, you know what we have? America all over again. You would have murder. You would have rape. You would have child molestation. You would have drug dealing, drug addiction. You know why? Because our problem is not that we don't have a land. Our problem is we don't have a moral standard. We can follow God's laws right here in the land of sin. We can serve our God right here in the face of Satan, man. What's the proof? We've always did it. We've always did it. You read these records. This Bible was left here for a reason, black man. This Bible was left here so that you can look back on the history of our people and how we've done things and we stood up and we said, we're going to serve our God. And whatever we chose to serve our God, the Lord made our enemies his enemies. And that's why the Christian church does not teach us to serve God because it does not benefit America for now them to be an enemy with God. Because America has always been enemies with blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When have America ever not been at, at war with our people? They don't tell you about all the wars they went and fought against our Native American brothers. The Seminoles was fighting these goddamn oppressors for years. They don't tell you about the laws that they passed. Do you know where loitering laws come from? Right now, in every city in America, they have loitering laws. Do you know where those loitering laws come from? Anybody know? Anybody know history? This we in D.C. I thought everybody here was educated. It's supposed to be an educated city. Loitering, loitering laws come from the black codes where they pass draconian laws down south to oppress black people intentionally. After they freed the slaves, they created the prison system, and now they pass laws to lock up black people for minor reasons. So you just walking around and not being at work, you can be arrested. They call it loitering today. That's why you had the chain gangs, and you go look at those photos, you had little black children in chain gangs for not being at home, just for walking around the town. Go look up what a sunset town is, a sundown town. Well, black people couldn't be in the goddamn town after dark. And that's why that culture still exists today in America. When the police see you in a certain neighborhood, they say, what are you doing here? Well, where are you going? Let me see your ID. It's the same as asking the slave, let me see your papers. America has never loved God's people. And that's why God is going to destroy America. Because if America was a nation that served God, 
they would have never treated the people on the bottom the way they have. You understand? Only a bully treats the weak terrible. You don't go, you don't see America treating Russians bad. They don't treat the Chinese bad. You know why? Because they know that the Chinese have a nation and a military that defends them. The Russians have a nation and a military that defends them. The Africans have nations and militaries that defend them. But guess what, black man? These oppressors think nobody's going to defend you. They think they can do whatever they want to you with no recourse. I hate to break it to you, America. God is coming to bring judgment to this place for the crimes you committed now and the crimes that you benefit from that your forefathers committed. The Bible says we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The knowledge is talking about is this Bible. The Bible tells us that this book gives us the answers to our problems in the ghettos and the burials and the reservations. Read, brother. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. The Bible says whatsoever things were written aforetime. Afore is old English for before. You understand? The things that were written before time, which are found in the Bible, keep reading, were written for our learning. Were written for what? Our learning. They were written for our learning. You go in that church and they hold up this Bible and they claim to teach you what God says in this book. When you don't learn anything in the goddamn church. If you learn anything in the church, somebody show me the scripture where God loves everybody. You can't. Because you've been sitting in that goddamn whorehouse called the Christian church and you have learned absolutely nothing. You understand? The Christian church produces good singers, good musicians. You understand? Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, may have hope. That's fine. Listen, man. We've been going to church and being Christians for 400 years. What has it done to fix or save our people? You know, and I'm going to tell you something, man, and this is not to sound cruel, but those brothers and sisters that were murdered in Buffalo by that racist devil, they were Christians, man. They were Christians. A lot of their photos they posted online were photos of them in church. They were God-fearing Christians, and they believed they were saved. And we watched and witnessed on video that devil murdered them in cold blood. You know why? Because they, are, they were not saved. To be saved from something means that you're no longer in danger. And Christians, you Christian pastors are so goddamn filthy. You lie to God's people and you tell them they're saved as we live in hell. Right. As we live in the worst conditions on the face of the earth. You know, refugees come over to America from third world countries and they are astounded at how bad black people live in America. While America is sending $40 billion to Ukraine to aid in their nation, all of our neighborhoods look like war-torn countries, don't it? It's only because D.C. is the capital that they started to clean up the black neighborhoods. But you see what happened when they started to clean it up? What happened? As they started to clean up the black neighborhoods, they got us out of here. See how said? No more sexual quarters. No more berry farms. You understand? They're getting all the black neighborhoods up out of here. You know why? Because they can care less about how we live. Why right? they sending aid overseas. Now, I thought we were Americans. Black men, I thought we were citizens. I thought we were part of the team. I thought we were good old American citizens. But what you'll find out is America has more love for its damn enemies than it does for you, black man. They'll love their enemies more than you. Go, go back and read the records of how black soldiers said that the white soldiers in World War II, American soldiers treated the Nazi soldiers better than they treated the black soldiers they were fighting with. I'm not making this up. You can go read, man. We went and fought with these devils and they had more respect for their enemy than they did for us. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven than the south Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in the
in this army is something you can't afford oh, We niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man, cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Unimportant for grand, nigga is step before the song Rather die like a man, than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 